So in this video, we're going to use uh, Sky Safari Light to simulate uh, a slightly more interesting um, celestial event, a uh, lunar eclipse that happened on December 21st of 2010. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our settings and set the date and time from the, not the current time, but we're going to set it back to December 21st, actually December 20th of 2010. And uh, we'll set the time to about 9 p.m. And uh, okay, so now it's 9 p.m. on December 21st. We're also gonna set our location uh, to San Francisco, which is where I happen to be at that time. And we're gonna pick our location from the list of cities in the United States here. So San Francisco starts with an S. We'll just jump down and select it. So now we're going to search for the moon. So we'll go to our search function, uh, go under moons, and the Earth's moon, of course, is the first one on the list. And so, again, here's more information about the moon, lots of pictures. Um, all of these blue links expand to you know, full-size, full-screen images. So let's center on the moon. This is where the moon uh, appeared in the sky on December 21st, 2010. We're looking out. It's a fairly wide field of view. Here's the constellation Orion. Uh, here's Gemini. So let's zoom in uh, using our lower right hot corner. And as you can see, the lunar eclipse has already started to take place at this point. So we're going to bring up our time flow controls. Uh, hit the play button. And as the animation progresses, you can see the lunar eclipse running you know, much faster than it happened at that time uh, in, in progress. And that's how you could use Sky Safari to simulate a celestial event that happened in the past or future. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the help function of Sky Safari. Um, it's the rightmost button on the toolbar here. It, the help is organized the same way the program is organized. So um, for each of the main buttons on the toolbar, there's a, a help uh, screen which describes the function of that button. There is also built into the application an entire astronomy textbook. It's located under the basic concept section. So suppose you want to learn more about eclipses. Well, um, you go to this chapter on solar and lunar eclipses. Uh, again, there's a description of how the different kinds of celestial phenomena work. Um, you can tap on any of these links to enlarge an image to full size. And uh, there's a lot of information in here. It's a very complete introduction to the science and the hobby of astronomy.